Let's take a look at Rhino 4O's cage edit command. Cage edit provides a way to deform a complicated object by using a simple object's control points. The controlling object can be a surface, a curve, or a cage object. Cages have control points in three directions. Control objects derived from curves and surfaces have control points exactly as in the curve or surface. 3D cage objects can be created inside the cage edit command or they can be created separately using the cage command and then selected during cage edit. So let's show an example of this. What I've got here is a knife and let's assume a knife maker wants to change this model. And the first thing we want to type in is the cage edit command. C A G E E. Okay. The captive object, which is the object that we want to deform, it's going to be the knife itself. We've got that. Then the controlling, and we have a lot of options, but we're just going to go with a simple example. Let's do line, and we're going to do the whole object. Now, if you notice, we've got control points. When we grab the control point and move it, it deforms the controlled object. So let's make the knife a shorter blade, a longer handle, and kind of arc it up a little bit, something about like that. And we can just kind of drag it. You could also enter dimensions for accuracy. And there it is. Now I did it in a front plane with planar on, so I didn't want it to deform outside. So as a 2D curve, but that's also viable too. Let's take it back, do control Z. And let's say now we want to deform it and we want to make the blade longer, handle shorter, and make it straighter. So what we'll do is bring it back and down. Go about there. And let's do cage edit again. And let's select our captive object. Done. And let's do bounding box with a B. And we'll go world coordinates. And we'll go with the stock number of cage points. So what this has done is now built a box around our object and with control points. And now we can grab the control points on the box and manipulate those. So I can go like this. And I've got all the ones on top there. And I can grab the edge. So I've grabbed, I've selected all four. It's going to do the whole object, but I could, if I just chose the one on the side, it would only deform the side. And as you can see, quite nice. Control Z, move it back. Let's go the other way. that, turn off the control points, and our bounding box is still going to be there. This is Robert Schutz. Thank you.